as another stage in PLC programming which based on EasySoft, Miller EasySoft programming language is the self-resetting system. Let's open Let's EasySoft and create new project. I call it, I prefer to call it self-resetting systems, uh, the systems which uh, totally is the language of program and we wrote some program. Then this program will use like ordinary one and will reset itself one button will reset another one without human activity it means that automatically resets itself but written by us of course it will be useful to utilize it in uh, fully totally automated systems like the system uh, traffic lights or another kind of related things let's create a input input one then draw to the output I suppose you <coughs> you are able to create some inputs and output after our educations in PLC and add here some inputs again let's simulate it now I press first one and when I'm press second one it reset itself the same thing is will uh, we will utilize for self resetting systems I mean exactly that for instance we create here a timer add the timer and accept its own delay timer 3 seconds then we will add here the output of our timer which is the significant 3 seconds can I either accept or not and it goes to the output to and this is the new output and we uh, will utilize this new output in our first link by this way it's a Q2 inverse be careful about that very similar to I1 I2 inverse because we utilize inverse one it's a uh, connected uh, it's a make make connection connected and current passes through this way if our Q to activate it it breaks connection and all of our circuit break down let's uh, simulate it I press the first one it weighs three seconds one two three and suddenly activates Q2 and resets of our Q1 and I call it the system the self resetting systems course it's good it self resets after Q2 this is easy one to assemble even to understand in easy soft ladder diagram that's why I prefer to utilize this one in live traffic next project will be about light traffic there are two kinds of light traffic I will talk about that in the next project thanks